worship you, God. I magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. I lay all that I have down at your feet, God. Not my will, but that be done, God. Not my dreams, not my desires, oh God. Not my plans, oh God. Oh Lord, but lead me, oh God. Lead me in the path of righteousness, oh God. Be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway, God. He I tell you that they all shut up. Oh, I come with expectation this morning, God. I come with expectation, God. Oh, that you still move mountains, God. You still cause walls to fall, God. You still open doors, oh God. You still make ways, God. You're the God of the hills and you're the God of the valley. You're the God of my ups and you're the God of my downs, oh God. Oh, bless your name. I will bless your name, Jesus. Clap your hands, make a joyful noise unto the Lord our God. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day. Thank you for an opportunity to worship you outside in your beautiful creation. We lift up the name of Jesus. We proclaim the name of Jesus. Lord, bless and anoint this service this morning. Let your glory, hallelujah, come down. Let every soul be touched. Let your will be accomplished. I give you praise today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Clap your hands unto him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just a couple of announcements. If you're in your car, you can turn to FM station 87.9. 87.9. And you can hear the service on FM 87.9. There is water over here to my right. Anybody that would need some water, amen. But most importantly, if you feel God in your heart this morning, shout amen. That was a little weak. I said shout amen. Amen. Let's worship the Lord this morning.
up this morning, church. Hallelujah, Lord. God, thank you for giving us another day, God, to worship you together, Lord, to lift up your name.
believe it this morning. There's no one like our God. None can compare. There is none more able. Christ our Savior, great and glorious. There is no one higher. There's no one greater. No one like our God. There is none more able. Christ our Savior, great and glorious. There is no one higher. No one greater. No one like our God. There is none more able. Christ our Savior, great and glorious. There is no one higher. No one greater. No one like our God. There is none more able. Christ our Savior, great and glorious. Oh, if you believe in this morning, give it today. Come on. There's no one greater. There's no one higher. There's no one that's able to do what he can do. I love you today, Lord. I lift you up. I bless your mighty name this morning, Jesus. There's no one able like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You can do all things. You are the great I am. You are the way maker. You are the truth and the light and the way. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Give the Lord a clap offering of praise. Amen. There's nothing God cannot do. Amen. I don't know about you, but I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you can be outside under the blue sky and still feel the power of the Lord? Hallelujah. He's here today. I said Jesus is here today. He wants to touch somebody. He wants to heal somebody. He wants to open a door. He wants to make a way. He wants to prove himself to you. Hallelujah. We want to go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Amen. Before I do that, I know all of you are dying to do this, so just turn around and wave at each other. Wave to your fellow brothers and sisters. Good to see everybody today. Amen. All of you that are in your cars, we welcome you to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We want to pray Sister uh, Dahlia Vogler's sister Carmen lost her son this week. Amen. And we want to pray for the comfort of their family. Please also remember my cousin's family. I don't know if you heard, I did put it on Facebook. My cousin who was a pastor in Orangefield, Texas, him and his wife passed away. So it's a very great tragedy in their family. Amen. Not only did the church lose a pastor, but their children and their grandchildren lost both mom and dad. Amen. But God is a God of all comfort. Amen. Praise God. We want to remember Brother Chris. Uh, Clark, Brother Chris Clark, he needs a touch of the Lord this morning. Brother Daryl is here. Brother Daryl still needs a touch of the Lord. I see Brother Hilliard over there. He needs a touch of the Lord. Amen. I see Sister Maxine and her father and her mom. Amen. Praise the Lord, Bishop Thompson. Glad to have you with us today. 
We're praying for you, Sister Thomas, amen, Thompson, brother, amen, and uh, God will touch you guys, amen, hallelujah. I, I don't know if I left anybody out, but just call their name to the Lord. Let's pray one for another today, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus today, we thank you for your hand upon us. We thank you for your love and tender mercies. All these that are sick and afflicted today, God, we bind every sickness. I bind every disease in the name of Jesus. We speak healing into their body. We speak strength into them today, God. Touch them not only physically, but spiritually. Lift them up in the power of your might. All these names that we have called before you, God, you are able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we think or ask. But you said, hallelujah, by your stripes that we are healed. And so we stand on your promises today, God. We stand on your word this morning. And we call those things that are not as though they are. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every soul be touched. Let every person be lifted up. Let every sickness be healed. Let every door be opened. Let every need be met today, God. For we realize today. Today. It's not by our might or our power, but it's in the name that is above every other name, that precious name of Jesus. And I give you glory, I give you honor, and I give you praise today. Give God thanks this morning and give him praise today for his healing virtue. Amen. We're focusing on prayer again, and that is Thursday night, so please tune in. There's a link on Facebook that you can tune into, or also check out our church webpage. We're also asking that everybody who can join a life group. These life groups have been instrumental in enacting change in our church body. It's such an encouraging time of fellowship, and so I'm asking if you're not connected, try getting connected today. Ask somebody, you know, how can I get involved in what God's doing at our church? Amen? Thankful that you're here. So glad to see your beautiful faces and enjoy worshiping the Lord with us. Thank you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just uh, like to honor a couple of people this morning. Austin, I see you here today. Come on up front for me, Austin. Amen. We had the privilege of baptizing Austin in the precious name of Jesus this week. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to present him with his baptismal certificate. Give him a round of applause. Now we just got to pray he gets filled with the Holy Ghost. And God's will be done. Love you, Austin. Hallelujah. I don't know, is, is Sasha Smith here today? Aeneas Addison? Amen. Jason Williams? All right, the rest of these. We got about five more that's been baptized in Jesus' name. Amen. So we give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. You, you don't always get to see it. I also baptized... One from Brother Cap's uh, group, amen. Sister Nee, amen. She got baptized, and he's going to present her with that certificate today. So God is doing a lot of things behind the scenes that you don't even know about, amen. So praise God for that, amen. We're going to ask you to give to the Lord this morning. There's a basket up front. Would you just stand with me? Let's pray over the offering, then they'll sing, and you can come and give to the Lord, amen. Father, we thank you for all your wonderful blessings. Thank you for your goodness and mercy unto us. 
Thank you for keeping your hand upon us and, and hallelujah, just your angels in charge around about us. I pray that a blessing upon every household, upon every member of our congregation. And I pray today, God, that you would bless this offering for the furtherance of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come and give to the Lord this morning. Blessed be your name.
Lift up your voices to him this morning. Here I am, God. I give myself away to you, Lord. Hallelujah. My life is not my own. I give myself to you. I praise you today, Lord. I love you today, God. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. Thank you for your power in my life. Thank you for your anointing upon me. Thank you, Lord, for healing my body. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for the family of God. Thank you for your presence that I feel even right now, God. I just give you praise. I give you praise. Come on. Come on. Lift up your voice to him. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah, I give myself away to you today, God. I give myself, I give myself to you. Yes, come on, sing it to him. My life is not my own. You are I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself.
myself to you today, God. Have your way in my life. I give myself away so you can use. I give myself away. Come on, everybody, lift up your hands. Everybody say, here am I, Lord. I give myself to you today, Lord. Use me for your glory. Use me for your honor. Use me for your kingdom, God. Not my will, but thine be done. Harabaha sharabaha. Come on, just lift up your voices. Give him a little bit of praise. I praise you today, Lord. You've been good to me, Father. Thank you for all that you have blessed me with, Lord. I give myself to you. I praise you. I love you. I exalt you. I magnify your mighty name today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody want to give themselves to the Lord today? It's a brand new day. Why don't you say, here am I again, a fresh and a new Lord. I want to give my heart to you. I want to give my mind to you. I want to give my soul to you fresh. Hallelujah. Come on. I love you, Lord. I praise you this morning. I praise you today, God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Come on, we've got something to praise Him for. He brought us out of darkness into His marvelous light. Thank you for your power in our lives. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for washing away my sin, never to be remembered against me again. I give myself to you today, God. I give myself to you today, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, feel after him. He said, seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. Ask and ye shall receive. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Lord, let your angels have charge round about us. Oh God, let there be a spirit of liberty. Let there be a spirit of unity. Let there be a spirit of one mind. Let there be a spirit of one accord here today, God. Let your power come down. Let your anointing come down. Let every yoke be broken. Let every captive be set free. Let there be a demonstration of your power. Not our will, God, but thine be done. We give ourselves to you. We praise you. We love you today, God. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give myself away. My life is not my own. Amen. I belong to him. Praise God. If you're looking for a chair, any of these chairs that are not somebody sitting in, feel free to uh, come and sit in one of these chairs. Amen. Praise God. Or move the chair wherever you feel comfortable sitting. Amen. So good to see all of you. Why don't you turn around again and just wave one to another. Say hello to your fellow brother and sister. Great to see you all. Go ahead, honk your car horns in your car. Amen. Praise God. We got more in the cars. Amen. And welcome to our first drive-in parking lot service. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't know about you, but it feels good to see all of you and to worship the Lord together. How many feel like you feel the presence of the Lord? Amen. I, I feel like not only do we feel it, but I feel like our neighbors are going to feel it as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you haven't already heard, amen, if you turn to FM 87.9, you can tune in and hopefully hear us on the radio. 
I'm not sure what kind of reach we have with all of that, but uh, hopefully those of you in the car can hear the service. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. My life is not my own. That, that's, that song just rolling over in my mind this morning. I belong to him. You and I, we belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. He said we are bought with the precious blood. Aren't you thankful for that precious blood today? Hallelujah. Amen. Have your Bibles this morning. Turn with me to Genesis chapter 1. Where I'm going to start in the very beginning of the Bible. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Amen. Stand with me, please, in honor to the word of the Lord. I know you're all comfortable. Praise God. But we want to give honor to the word of the Lord today. Amen. The scripture says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. God created man in his image. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Turn to your neighbor and say, God didn't make any junk. Amen. You're made in the image of God. You're made in the image of a God. Hallelujah. Praise God. In fact, let me prove it to you down in verse 31. He says, and God saw that everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Not just average, but he said it was very good. That included you and me. Amen. He said, in the evening, in the morning, were the sixth day. Everything that God created was good. Amen. Chapter 9, verse 6, he says, for in, it, for in the, he repeats it, for in the image of God made he man. In the image of God made he man. Praise God. Let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you for your blessings in our lives. Thank you for your presence in this place. Thank you for our brothers and sisters that you have kept your hand upon and your angels have encamped around about us and you have protected us from this virus. And we thank you for that, God. We thank you for our health and we thank you for our strength. But most of all, Lord, we thank you today for our salvation. Thank you for forgiving us and cleansing us and washing us. Thank you for making us a part of your family. And we concur today, God, that we are not our own. That we are bought with your precious blood. Hallelujah. You said, therefore, we should glorify you and give you praise and give you thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you for your blood that was shed for us on Calvary. Thank you for making a way that I might be saved. I give you praise in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. So I want to preach to you today something that you have probably already heard. Amen. And that that is man is a sinner. Amen. Man is a sinner. Without God, we have no hope. Amen. You can say amen with me out here today. I said without God, we don't have any hope. But if I've got Jesus, I've got hope. Somebody thank you for that hope today. Thank you for your power today, Jesus. Thank you for a hope today. For God so loved the world, what did he do? He gave himself on the cross of Calvary. He came from the throne room of glory. Wrapped himself in flesh and dwelt among us, the Bible says. 
Hallelujah. We beheld his glory. Hallelujah. He came and became one of us. He was 100% God, but he was 100% man. But that God from glory was on a mission. Amen. Because he realized, hallelujah, for mankind to be saved, there had to be a blood atonement. There had to be a blood sacrifice. Amen. Somebody's blood or something, just like in the Old Testament. Some of you look at me a little funny, so I'll explain myself. In the Old Testament, they had to bring a goat. Amen. Or, or an animal to be sacrificed by the priest. Amen. For the atonement of their sin. Amen. And so it was, the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. It took a blood sacrifice. And God has not asked you to shed your blood today, but God came in the form of a man and went to the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. I said, God came in the form of a man, a God that loved you so much that he came from the throne room of glory, wrapped himself in flesh, and went to the cross that today you and I might have life, that we might have it abundantly, that we might come to this parking lot service and say, great and mighty is the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Why? Because he saved me, because he healed me, because he made a way when there was no way hallelujah how he didn't have to do it but he did it because he wanted to he loved you and he still loves you and he still loves me today hallelujah and yes we mess up and yes we don't always do what we ought to do but hallelujah we can go to the cross and we can repent of our sin and he said if I will confess my sin he said he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I don't know about you, but I need a Savior today. I need a Savior today. Hallelujah. I'm glad to know there's a spotless lamb. I'm glad to know there's one that's named Jesus. Hallelujah. That went to the cross. That I might be saved and you might be saved. That we might have hope. Clap your hands to him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We were made in the image of God. That image, the only image that God has is the man Christ Jesus. Amen. So you and I, in the mindset from the very beginning, were made in the image of Almighty God. Hallelujah. It doesn't say that we are God. We are not God's. We're not little demigods down here. There's only one God. There's only one Lord. There's only one faith. There's only one baptism. Hallelujah. But we were made in the image of God. And since we were made in his image, we put on his likeness. Amen. And we were the highest creation that God ever made. Amen. Tell, tell your neighbor, you're the highest creation. Amen. God didn't make just anything, but he created something wonderful. He created something beautiful. He created you and I. Amen. So man is created, is a created being today. Some of you didn't get that. I'm not a monkey. I'm not a tadpole. Amen. I didn't evolve. God created me. God breathed into me the breath of life. I became a living soul, not because I evolved, but because God created me. God created you. Hallelujah. In his likeness. Praise God. So remember that you are created as God. Amen. And you are created in the image of God. Amen. And man was created sinless. And man was created with an absolute purity and an innocence. Amen. When God created Adam and Eve in the garden, there was no sin. They were created in purity. 
and they were created in innocence and they were given power and they were given dominion and they were given authority over everything else that God created. Tell me how much God thought of you and I. God thought more of you and I than he did the trees. God thought more of you and I than the fish in the ocean. God thought more of you and I, amen, than the animals upon the earth. Hallelujah. There's a lot of people worshiping all kinds of weird stuff today. Some want to worship animals. Some want to worship trees. Some want to worship the moon and the stars. But you and I are his highest creation. Hallelujah. We were made to be like him. So we were created with intelligence, and we were responsible for naming all the creatures that were in the garden, and he gave us dominion over everything that he created. Amen. We were created in the physical appearance of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that God is a spirit. You can't see a spirit. Amen. Amen. But it was in the plan of God to manifest himself. Amen. It was in the plan of God to manifest himself in the man, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He manifested himself in the form of a man. Amen. And he, di he died on the cross of Calvary for our sin. For our benefit, that we might become like him. Hallelujah. We were gr created and we were given unlimited potential. I'm going to say it again. You were given unlimited potential. Man can rise higher and sink lower than any of, other, uh, any, than any other of God's creatures. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, man has the ability to be filled with God's spirit and to rise above every obstacle in life. I'm going to say that again. God has filled you and I with the gift of the Holy Ghost that we might rise above, that we might rise above, that we might overcome, that we might be more like him. He said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. He said, with every temptation, I will make a way of escape. He said, I've come to set the captive free and to bring deliverance to all that are in bondage. If you are in bondage today, God wants to set you free. Yeah, amen. If you are suffering from depression, God wants to deliver you. If you're sick and body, God wants to be your healer today. If you don't know where your next meal is coming from, come to the cross. And he said, I've not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his be seed begging for bread. I'm here to tell you, we serve a powerful God. We serve a right now God. We serve a God that can do exceeding and abundantly above all that you think or ask. <clears throat> think about that he created you to rise above every obstacle every obstacle every obstacle what's hindering your life what's stopping you today What's the roadblock that it's in your way this morning? I've come to tell you, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You've got power with God. You were created in the image of God. You've been filled with the presence of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You need to use some of that Holy Ghost dynamite and blow the obstacle up out of your road path today. And hallelujah, tell the devil he's a liar. You need to say, 
I am an overcomer by the cross. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. I am an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. Greater is he that's in me. Devil, you're a liar and you're the father of lies. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'm going to take power over my life. I'm going to take dominion over my situation. I'm going to claim the victory in Jesus' name. Clap your hands to him. <laughs> Hallelujah. So man was created without sin. Amen. Hallelujah. But because of who we are. Hello. We know the story, don't we? We have all sinned. Amen. Adam and Eve, they knew what to do. They had fellowship with God. They walked and they talked with God in the cool of the day. Hallelujah. They had a relationship with the God who created them. Hallelujah. But somehow they got listening to another voice. Amen. Some, for some reason, they began to listen to that serpent, if you will. And they started to believe, amen, the message that the serpent began to give them. Amen. And it wasn't long till they started partaking of the fruit that God told them not to eat. Amen. And because of their disobedience, because of their sinfulness, if you will, amen, they were cut off from God. Sin always separates us from God. Sin always separates us from God. I'm here trying to tell somebody today, amen, if you feel hindered in your prayer life, if you feel hindered in your walk with the Lord, you need to blow the obstacle up by the power of Jesus Christ because you can't do it in your flesh. We need him. We need him. We need him to do it today. The Apostle Paul wrote in Romans 8, or rather 7, and verse 18, he said, For I know that is in me, he said, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing, dwelleth no good thing, dwelleth no good thing. He said, For the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, he says, I find not. Hallelujah. Now this is the same Apostle Paul that they said these are they that have turned the world upside down for the cause of Christ. There was no greater evangelist than the Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. He, hallelujah. Yes, amen. There was a time when he didn't know him, but after that Damascus Road experience, amen, there was something in him. There was something different about him. The, the same man that was pursuing the saints to try to kill him now becomes the preacher. Tell me what God can do. I said, tell me what God can do. Hallelujah. I'll serve God when I get 65. I'll serve God when I retire. I'll serve God next month. I'll serve God next week. No, today is the day of salvation. And now is the appointed time. He said, repent of your sins. Hallelujah. And be baptized in his name and be filled with his presence. Brothers and sisters, we are living in the last day generation. And God is about to come after a people that's made themselves ready it's a day to repent of your sins it's a day to get right with God it's a day to get filled with the power and the presence of the Holy Ghost man was created to have fellowship with God oh, I could really go off on this this morning hallelujah I submitted a post by Brother Raymond Woodward on Facebook, on the church Facebook page. I pray that you all watch it. Because there is a message being sounded in this generation right now. Amen. The devil thought he could close the doors of the church. Amen. 
I never would have dreamed that we could have went to the Supreme Court and they not uphold the Constitution of the United States that gives churches the liberty to worship. That liberty was not conditional of whether or not there was a virus. Amen. But the nation has seen fit to close the doors. And I'm not going to get too political. This is the political I'm going to get. Praise God. Hallelujah. But amen. Whether you agree with me or not, amen. I want to tell you, God does not want his church to live under a spirit of bondage. And God does not want his church to live under the spirit of fear. We were created in the image of God to worship him, 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 to have fellowship with him, to have communion with him hallelujah we were created to have fellowship with God he wants to talk to you he wants to walk with you he wants to be with you every day he wants you and I to depend on him he wants us to realize that without him I can't make it hallelujah he doesn't want us to become independent he wants us to be dependent upon him He's my creator. He is absolute. He is pure. He is holy. He is pure. He is holy. The Bible says without holiness, no man shall see God. Let it sink in without holiness. <laughs> well, pastor, I don't think that's necessary. And I don't think this is necessary. And I don't see it that way. Anybody ever heard those words? I sure have. Amen. Well, let me just be frank with you today. God didn't ask you what you thought about it. <laughs> and God didn't ask what you think about it. But he said, I set before you the way of good and evil. He said, choose you this day whom you're going to serve. Joshua said, as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. The Bible is very clear. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye holy. In other words, I have to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, I got to bring my mind into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I have to come to church, and sometimes I don't feel like worshiping him, but I got to worship him anyway because he said, lift up holy hands in the sanctuary. He said, shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. He said, make a joyful noise unto to the Lord your God. Hallelujah. He said, come before him with thanksgiving. Come before him with praise. He said, hallelujah. Let the praises of our lips be continually upon him. We need to bless him. We need to praise him. We need to lift him up. We need to magnify his name. There can be no fellowship with God without us being filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Did you hear me? There can be no fellowship with God without the gift of the Holy Ghost. For God's very nature is holy. And he's already told us, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. We need his spirit in us. Somebody grab that for me, please. We need God's spirit within us. Yeah. Clap your hands to him. Do you need him? Yeah. Come on, do you need him? Yeah. Hallelujah, I need him. I need his spirit to change my life. I need his spirit to change my nature. I need his spirit to put on righteousness. 
I need his spirit to become more like him. I need his spirit to become holy. Hallelujah. I said, I need his spirit to become holy. He's already told us that our righteousness is as filthy rags in his sight. You see, what you think is holy and what God thinks is holy is totally two different things. God's not telling you to be holy according to what you think. God's telling you to be holy according to what he thinks. Isaiah 64 and 6. <laughs> Excuse me. He says, but we are all as unclean thing. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf. And our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Our righteousness, he said, is as filthy rags. Verse 7 says, and there is none that calleth upon my name. That stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. He said, for thou hast hid thy face from us. And hast consumed us because of our iniquities. I believe today that God is getting ready to pour out his wrath upon this generation like we have never even begun to believe. Amen. But he is sending out a last call to you and I, the church of the living God. Hallelujah. To draw near to him. To shake off the things that have us bound. To shape, uh, shake off and to repent of our sin. To get ourselves right with God. That we might become more like him. Hallelujah. He says now in verse 8. But now, O Lord, thou art the father. We are the clay. Thou art the potter. And we are all the work of thy hand. Hallelujah. I am made in his image. He's the one that made me. He's the one that shaped me. He's the one that breathed into me the breath of life. And I became a living soul. Shall the thing that is made dictate to the creator. Amen. What we are going to do. And what we are not going to do. God forbid. Paul said repent. He said repent. Repent. This is a generation that needs to see that their sin is iniquity. Amen. That their sin separates them from God and if we're not careful we will be expelled from the kingdom of heaven just as Adam and Eve were driven from the garden of Eden God forbid that we have spent so many years saying I'm a Christian that I belong in the house of God amen and doing things our own way and we miss the rapture God forbid that we've come so close and yet we are not good enough to go up in the rapture I need him. Say it with me. I need him. Clap your hands to him. So we know today that man fell because of his disobedience. Amen. Man fell because of his disobedience. We become disobedient when we refuse to obey the commands of Christ. Amen? See, it gets quiet when I start preaching about sin. But if you've been set free and there is no sin and you've got all your sin under the blood, you can still get a hand in the air. You can still say, thank you, Jesus. You can still praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. My fear today is this. I'll tell you what I fear today is so many of us, we call ourselves Christian. But we don't do the things of Christ. Amen. I said we call ourselves Christian, but we don't do the things that Christ did. We don't act the way Christ act. And we don't do the things that Christ did. And we don't say the things that Christ 
said. Because truthfully, we want to do, we want church and we want religion on our terms. Amen. But I'm here to tell you today, you can't have Jesus on your terms. You got to get Jesus on his terms. He said, hallelujah, from the very beginning, he made the plan. He said, and I change not. He says, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever, and I change not. The other problem we have today is we like to argue with the Lord and we like to say, God, I'm a pretty good person. I don't really do anything that's wrong. Amen. And then we give him a laundry list. Well, I'm not a drunkard. I'm not a thief. I'm not a whoremonger. I'm a pretty good person. God, you're really lucky to have me in your family. Amen. Amen. You know what God says about it? Romans 5, 12, he says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world. You know who that was? Adam. By one man sin entered into the world. And death came by sin. He says, so death passed upon all men. Death passed upon all men. Death passed upon all men. The best that you have to hope for without Jesus in your life is death. Then he says, for that all have sinned. All have sinned. All of us have sinned. Chapter 5, verse 19, he says, For by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. See, we don't like to call ourselves a sinner. But God calls us sinners. He said, For by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many... Be made righteous by the obedience of one, Jesus Christ. We were made righteous. I'm here to tell you, without Jesus Christ in your life, you cannot be righteous. Without him, you cannot be saved. Without him, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. We need him. We need him to be righteous. I don't care how much money you give. I don't care how many food banks you work at. I don't care how many homeless people you feed. I don't care what you do to try to work out your salvation. Hallelujah. He says there's none righteous. No, not one. And the only way to be saved is to come to the cross. I said the only way to be saved is to come to the cross. He said there's one way. It's a straight way. It's a narrow way. And he said there'll be few that find it. Amen. He said I am the way. I am the truth. I, he said, am the life. Hallelujah. Amen. He said I am the way. way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. And Jesus is the life. Hallelujah. Because of his righteousness. I have life today because of his mercy. I have power today because of him. I have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Greater. That's why I can say greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world today because I have him living on the inside of my soul. I don't just, hallelujah, hope that I have him. I know that I have him. There's a fire burning. There's a fire burning. There's a fire kindled in my spirit. Amen. Greater is he that's in me today. Uh, Praise God. God is on the throne. God lives in you. God lives through you. God is with you every step of the way. Come on, give him praise. (laughs) 
Now, I've been walking with him long enough to know that even after I come to the cross, I repent of my sin and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. That doesn't eliminate temptation. The devil is going to try to trip you up every step of the way. But I've come to encourage you today. That as long as you've got Jesus on the inside of your soul, hallelujah, he said, with every temptation, I'll make a way of escape. Hallelujah. With every temptation, I'll make a way of escape. Amen. In other words, no weapon that's formed against you is going to prosper. The devil doesn't have more power over you. The devil doesn't have more dominion over you. The devil doesn't have more authority over you. Hallelujah. You've got the power of the creator living on the inside of your life. Hallelujah. You have power to speak life into your situation. You have the power to speak the words of of Jesus to every temptation that comes your way. The devil does the same thing he always does. He first sows a seed of unbelief in our heart. Look at this. Doesn't it look pretty? Amen. And we start looking at it. And we start thinking about it. It hasn't become sin yet. But the more you look at something, and the more you lust after it. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm just going to give it to you as God gives it to me. Some of, some of you have been home so long, don't know what to do to yourself. You're on the Internet, and you're looking at stuff you shouldn't never look at. And if you're not careful, you're going to look at it and look at it and look at it until Satan's going to get you. Amen. And you're going to commit the act. The scripture said, David said, I'll set no evil thing before my eyes. You can't flirt with temptation. You can't play with the devil. The more you try to play with the devil, the more you're going to lose. Because you're no victor over the devil without the Holy Ghost. And if you're looking at stuff that you shouldn't be looking at, you've already become the servant of sin. I don't care if you got the Holy Ghost or don't have the Holy Ghost. You can lose the Holy Ghost. See, we don't believe once saved, always saved. Paul said, I become the servant to whom I yield my members unto. I can either yield my members to righteousness or I can yield it to unrighteousness. And he said, whoever I yield to, that's the servant I become. So when I know to do good and I don't do it, I yield myself to sinfulness and I yield myself to the flesh and I yield myself to the devil. Because it's either the devil or Jesus Christ. The problem with this world is there's all this gray area. There's absolutes in the kingdom of God. It's either sin or righteousness. There is no middle ground. He said, come out from among the world and be ye a separate people. He said, touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. So unbelief is our first temptation. Then changing God's word. That's what the devil did in the garden. God doesn't want you to eat of this tree because then you're going to become like him. You're not going to die. Hey Amen. Doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look pretty? Wouldn't you like to have some of this? But then when you become a partaker, we begin to twist the word of God. We begin to change the word of God. 
And we begin to challenge the word of God. And we begin to question the word of God. Mm -hmm. We've all done it. I don't know about that. I... And then we partake of it. And that's when we commit the act. That's when we become disobedient. That's when God cuts us off. Because he said no sin is going to enter in over there. No sin. A liar, the scripture says, is not going. A cheat is not going. A whoremonger is not going. An unbeliever is definitely not going. And the Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. And that's why Adam and Eve were driven from the garden. They didn't die immediately. And when you sin, probably you won't die immediately either. But you begin to be separated from God. Mm. Lift your hands. Pray. Mm. <laughs> you see, when I challenge God's word, I challenge his sovereignty. And I ch challenge his divinity. The creation begins to question the creator. Amen. We ignore God's laws and we, we ignore his principles and we break his commandments. And you know what happens? Destruction follows. Destruction follows the un, unrighteous. Can I tell you today that after 6,000 years, God's laws are still true? I'll say it again, after 6,000 years, God's laws are still true. And anyone who disobeys the will of God and commits an act of sin, the Bible says, shall surely die. So when we willfully sin, we transgress the commandments of God. We don't just die spiritually, but we begin to buy, die eternally and we begin to die physically as well. And so as the scripture says, when sin is finished, it brings forth death. There is no help or there is no hope with sin. That's why Paul said, for all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. We need a Savior. I said we need a Savior. I don't care how good you think you are. You and I need Jesus. And if I don't have Jesus, I don't have hope. And don't think God is going to excuse your sin and let you into the pearly gates because you're a good person. There's a lot of people in our world that's going to die and go to hell because they are sincerely wrong. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. David, as great a man as he was, he said, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Amen. Ephesians 2 and 1 says, And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. When you received the Holy Ghost, you were quickened. Yes. 
You're dead to your sin when you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. So I ask you today, do you think it's important to repent of your sins? You betcha. Amen. Do you think it's important that you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? You betcha. Do you think it's important that you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost? You bet you need it because without him, without him, without him, I cannot be righteous and I cannot be saved and I cannot enter into the kingdom of God. For John 3 and 5 said, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You need to repent. You need to be you need to be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Romans 3.10, he said, there is none righteous. No, not one. There is none righteous. No, not one. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, because we are all sinners, because of what Adam did in the garden, we need a Savior. You and I, we are unable to save ourselves. Oh, hallelujah. See, we want to think uh, this pie in the sky theory. I didn't write the book. I'm just preaching what he said to preach. I'm just preaching to you the word of God today. Hallelujah. And it doesn't set well with some people. If you're uncomfortable, it could be he wants you to repent. See, what some people call condemnation is actually guilt. And if you feel condemned and if you feel guilt this morning, it's because God is trying to bring you to a cross. That you might have life. Get the, get the load off of your back. Get Jesus in your heart. Because you can't have... You can't have any liberty without him. Amen. Clap your hands to him. So the point is, we cannot save ourselves. We need a savior. Amen. I said, we can't save ourselves. We need a savior. And let's just be real about it. We need him every day. For those of you who've already repented, those of you who've already been baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, that's wonderful, that's great, but you still need Him. You need Him today more than yesterday. You need Him today to forgive you of your sins. You need Him today to cleanse you from unrighteousness. You need Him today to make you what you ought to be. I can't live holy without Him. I can't live righteous without Him. I can't live victorious without him. I need a savior. It's because of Jesus Christ that I have life today and I have it abundantly. So he has graciously filled us with the gift of the Holy Ghost. And he has set us back in to proper relationship with him. Woo, hallelujah. You see, I can't have fellowship with the Holy God as long as there's sin in my life. Amen. I need a Savior. But when I get Jesus, I can talk to him. And he can talk to me. I can talk to him. And he can talk to me. You can talk to him. And he can talk to you. We can walk with him. We can talk with him like it was in the Garden of Eden in the cool of the day. Amen. God cares about every little detail of your life. He wants to have a relationship with each and every one of us. He wants to walk with you on a daily basis. He wants to tell you, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Amen. Hallelujah. You can have all the money in the world and still not go to heaven. Amen. You can have the greatest power and the greatest possession 
amen, position in society, but still not go to heaven. What I need more than anything else in this world is I need Jesus. I need Jesus. My hope is in Him. My faith is in Him. My trust is in Him. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about Him. I need Him. The Apostle Paul said in Colossians 2 and, nine, 2 and 8, he said, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Can I tell you, there's a lot of tradition out there. There's a lot of theories out there. There's a lot of philosophy out there I don't need more theory I don't need more philosophy what I need is Jesus what I need is Jesus Jesus let this mind be in me that was in you you humbled yourself you humbled yourself and was born in a manger and made yourself of no reputation. Took upon yourself, Lord, the form of a servant. You said that you came to give. You didn't come to be ministered to, but you came to minister. For God so loved the world that he gave. He gave himself on the cross of Calvary. He came to forgive us of our sins. Hanging on the very cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He didn't come to keep score. He came to give. He came to forget. And he came to make himself a bridge for you and I that we might be saved. Luke said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. First, we got to deny ourselves. Take up our cross and follow him. Mark said, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? you know that song I need thee Lord I need thee but that's what I feel like singing right now why don't you stand with me somebody come help me sing it Lift your hand, sing it to him this morning. I need you today, Lord.
I don't know if any of you have been touched by this message this morning, but if you would like to pray, the altar area here is open. Come and we'll pray with you this morning. I need you, God.